All right, so in the last six months, I've made six different applications and without fail, the thing that I hate to do the most every single time is to make the landing page. It might be one of the most simplest things to do in the application. Obviously, they're very important, but I always feel like I'm wasting time on them because I could be spending all of that time working on the actual application and all of the stuff inside that actually makes the application work. Hey there guys, Tino here from the future. Um, I ended up doing a little bit more than just generating cool landing pages with this application. So at some point in this video, you'll see a time skip where I play around with some of the integrations that Rocket offers, so Superbase and Figma. And I feel like those two integrations can be really useful for you if you are somebody who is doing a lot of prototyping, who has a lot of ideas that they want to quickly try out to see how they'll work. When it works, this is pretty much almost like a full stack developer that works for you. All you have to do is structure your prompts correctly. So yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be using this um, a bit more in the future. So hey there guys, what is good? Tino here, welcome back to Hello World. Just wanted to quickly show you guys this new application that I found. So when I came across this Twitter post today, um, it kind of piqued my interest because the video shows something that looks really good. Something that I really haven't been able to reproduce using Lovable or VO. And because of that, um, I mainly hand code any landing pages that I need for the applications. So if you're like me and you'd rather spend the majority of your time actually developing the application, all of the core features inside, rather than doing the landing page, I think this new way of doing it might be really good. The main thing that stood out wasn't the layout of the landing page, it was more the images. Lovable and VODev, to my knowledge, don't generate images for the pages that they produce. So immediately that piqued my interest and jumped onto my computer and started playing around with it. So the first thing that I did to test it out was basically give it a bunch of information about one of the applications that I'm making and see if what it produced was as compelling as the video that I had seen. So I went into ChatGPT. My personal ChatGPT has a lot of knowledge about the main application that I'm working on. So I just basically asked it to, to make almost like a site map or a landing page map based on everything that it knows about the application I'm making. So I spat that out, all of the different sections I would need for the landing page. And I took everything, so I basically copied and pasted the whole ChatGPT generation into rocket.new to see what it would produce. I didn't give it any styling advice, any color scheme, nothing like that. I just gave it the raw prompt and the description of what should be on the landing page. So I put that into rocket.new and then at the same time while it was generating i took the same prompt and put that into vercel's vo dev because for me i feel like this is the best front end development application out there it consistently produces some really cool uis but the thing is you have to go back and forth with it a lot to, to produce something compelling like the showcases that they have on their on their front page the main selling point about rocket.new is that it's almost like an agent. So you give it the the prompt and it takes way longer to come back to you. Um, so I actually forgot that I prompted it and it came back, I think it was 13 or 15 minutes later when I heard a strange noise on my computer that I had not heard before. Then I realized, oh, I asked Rocket to do something a few minutes ago. But yeah, so anyway, vo.dev obviously generated first and with the same prompt, it produced something like this. So this is a landing page. It looks okay, but at the same time, it's very generic. And I know for a fact with VO Dev, I have to go back and forth for it to produce something um, that I would consider to be decent. All right, so that was the version that I got from VO.dev. Now take a look at this. I put the same prompt into rocket.new. Um, it thought for a few seconds and then came back to me about how I would like this landing page to be built. Started off asking, do you just want it in HTML and CSS? So like a basic website. Or would I like to customize the framework? Um, so I chose customize because I would like it to be in React. Ideally, I would like it to be a Next.js application. Um, but the only option that it offered me was a React application, which is the closest thing I can get. But on that front page, there's an option which suggests that you can make it in Next.js. Although it didn't offer me the option here, I feel like if I really wanted it or if you're gonna use it, you need to explicitly tell it to use the framework that you want to use. So anyway, this is just for testing. So I'm not really first and I don't think I'm gonna be using this landing page, um, but I think I will be using this rocket.new to create my final landing pages in the future. So anyway, I picked the framework <coughs> and the next thing it did was clarify exactly what I wanted. So 
it sent a message telling me what it's going to do. It's going to create a landing page and then just give me another option to basically confirm that I really want a landing page rather than the whole application, I guess. Um, so I click landing page and then it started and I just kind of left it. So this is its first attempt. Um, remember, all I did was put in a detailed prompt about what content should be on the landing page. That that prompt really didn't specify the theming, the styling, the color, color scheme, anything like that, what fonts to use. All right, so a little bit of a time skip. Um, I managed to end up playing with the application for the rest of the day yesterday. And it turns out you can do a lot more than just generate cool looking landing pages with images. I ended up doing three different things with it and each of them got increasingly more complex until I broke it at the end. So, so other than just giving it a normal text prompt, I ended up um, importing a Figma to see how well it'll be able to, to replicate the frame as a UI. And it turns out that Rocket also supports Superbase integration. So, I'm, so I wanted to test that out. I wanted to see if I can make a semi-functioning full stack application. All right, so back to the first prompt that we gave it. This was the first output that it came out with. And what immediately stood out compared to the to the vo.dev version of this prompt was how much more complex and dense this landing page is. So Rocket seems to have taken the prompt literally and made a section for everything inside the landing page, which might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your use cases. But for me, I felt like this was a good thing because it just makes the landing page a lot more informative and it's managing to display all of that information in unique and interesting ways, every single section. So no single section is the same. So obviously the theme, I did not give it any instruction on the theming, on the styling, on what it should look like. I only gave it the content it should display. And I think it really did a good job for that. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, there are all these cool little animations that are happening, which help in making the landing page feel a bit more professional. It also added this little quick navigation widget to the right and to the left that you can click and it'll take you to the different sections. And some of the buttons actually do stuff when you click them. So if I give it one of my emails and do that, we have a little completion animation that happens, which is pretty cool. All right, so that was the first generation I asked it to do. Um, after this, I wanted to see if I can upload an image and then transfer some of the style from that image into this landing page that it gave. And in all honesty, it managed to do that pretty well. Um, so it's the same sections, the same elements that you've seen from the first generation it gave me, but they've all been themed in style in a specific way like I asked you to do. So I was pretty impressed by that. And immediately um, my mind was racing, thinking if I had more time with it, um, I can use it to create really good landing pages. So after that, I wanted to test out the Figma import because I feel like this is what most people will do. Maybe you're working with a designer or you've bought a Figma template that you want to convert into your own landing page. I know VO has its own version of this, but I've never tested it. So maybe um, you can tell me if you've used it in the past. Um, you can let me know in the comments if it's as good as this. Something for me to try out in the future. The Figma template that I used was this one here. Um, I found it in the marketplace. It's a landing page for a workout application. And it has a lot of images, um, cool fonts, um, cool color scheme. So I gave it the link and I went through a similar process of configuring the application that it's going to build. I let it know that I want it to be a Next.js application. I told it to use JavaScript instead of TypeScript. Then it went on to import the Figma frame and basically scanned the design file. This one is pretty simple. It only has one frame. And this is what it managed to come up with. So let me go full screen with this one. So the image is a bit off in terms of scale, but it's pretty cool that it managed to get that in there. Um, it's kept the color schemes and all of the buttons seem to be reacting to my mouse as I hover on top of them. Um, if, I, if I click them, they don't really take me anywhere. So that's to be expected. Some of the images made it and some of the images and some of the other ones did not. So that's interesting. But overall, I feel like this is a good first attempt. You would have to go back and forth with it maybe a bit more. But the fact that you're able to just take a Figma frame and then have something that works. So this design that it came out with seems to work better in mobile view. So let me try to see what that looks like. Um, the image is in frame. And it's replaced some of the elements that I couldn't copy with sort of hard-coded UI. So there was a line here, um, which 
look like it was a illustrated line. Um, it's replaced that with this sort of like underlining in code. And again, pretty good. I feel like that is a decent landing page and you could take that, download it, do a little bit more. It's a good starting point rather than starting with a blank screen. So yeah, I was impressed with that. And the last thing that I wanted to do was to give it a, a more complex prompt. So rather than just asking it to make a landing page, this time I wanted to see how well it does at creating a working application. So I started off by asking it to make a stub version of the application. So, so none of the business logic would work, but should be able to make all of the different pages in the prompt and I should be able to navigate and see a good representation of what the application should look like when it works. And in the next prompt after that, I wanted it to do the business logic. So I wanted it to connect to a database and make some of the functions work. All right, so I think I'll end the video right here. Um, I got a bit greedy and basically broke it. Um, so a few of the prompts that I did after this point um, ate up all of the tokens that I had left in this account. So for the demo version of Rocket, you get 1 million tokens per project that you do. And if you go through them, um, you have to go on one of the paid plans, which I might do in the future. But for this project, um, I'm not trying to do that today. One thing I did manage to do was connect this application to my Superbase account, but everything after that point I wasn't able to do. So I wasn't able to produce any of the business logic that would make the app functional. So we just have to be happy with this stub that I produced. If you're interested in seeing what this stub looks like, um, I managed to publish it using their publish feature. And it should be in the description box below. Thank you for making it to the end if you've made it this far and see you in the next video.